What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we learn how to create styles and apply them to text and objects all throughout your InDesign documents. Styles are a great way to keep your work looking consistent and can really help you to cut down the time you spend formatting. We'll be covering how to create character styles, how to create paragraph styles, and how to create object styles, and also how to apply these saved styles to the elements in your entire document in InDesign. So let's head on to the screen. Step 1. Find and open the Styles Panels. You can find all the Styles Panels by going to Window, Styles. Here you'll find 5 options for applying styles to different elements. When you open a particular style panel, you'll notice that they group with other related style windows here. Character styles and paragraph styles can be both applied to text. A character style remembers formatting for single characters, words, or phrases. While well, a paragraph style will remember the formatting applied to a whole paragraph or a section of text separated from other text by line breaks. Table styles and cell styles also have their individual panels. Same goes with object styles. You can apply an object style to graphics, shapes, and frames. Step 2. Create and apply a character style. Once you've formatted a letter, word, or phrase, you can save your edits as a character style to apply to other parts of your text with ease. In this example, I have set the InDesign 101 in a decorative font called Amarillo and set the size to 32 point and the color to a dark red CMYK swatch. The text is also aligned center. Now open the character styles panel yes, and highlight the relevant text and either click on a small icon at the bottom right of the panel, the one that says create new style, or you can also um, select new character style from the panel's drop-down menu. Now the new character style window opens and you can give the style a recognizable name and scroll scroll through the formatting options from the left-hand menu editing them further if you want to and then click OK and the style appears in the character styles. To demonstrate let's have this sample here highlight it and by the way you can highlight individual letters words or phrases in the text of your document and simply click on the style name in the panel to apply it. There we go. Step 3. Create and apply a paragraph style. To create a paragraph style, first format a single paragraph of text. You can apply a drop cap and indents as well as font, size, weight, leading, tracking, and alignment. You can then either place your cursor somewhere in the paragraph or highlight the paragraph before selecting new paragraph style from the paragraph style panel menu. This one here. The menu on the left hand panel lists the formatting attributes applied to the text and you can add further attributes from the menu. You can also create a nested style by selecting drop cap and nested styles, this one, and this allows you to nest a character style within a paragraph style. So it allows you to define more specific formatting rules for some characters in a paragraph. When you're happy with the settings you've defined for the style and given the style a name, just click OK. And you can apply the style to a paragraph by resting your cursor in a paragraph and clicking the name of the style in the paragraph style panel, like so. You can do this here too, and it changes. Step 4. Create and apply an object style. You can apply an object style to graphics, shapes, and frames. Formatting attributes like fill stroke, gradients, and some transparencies as well as text wrapping settings can be saved as an object style and applied to objects. Now open the object styles and as an example, this circle with a solid white fill and a decorative dark blue stroke is being used as a background shape. The text frame, this one inside, is separate from the, from the circle and layered on top. Now select just the shape and select new object style here in the drop down menu the object style panel. Click on that one and when the window opens, I'll just give the style a name. Now the top left menu lists attributes already applied to the shape but you can add extra attributes from the bottom left hand menu such as, such as transparency, um, drop shadow, inner shadow, outer glow, bevel, etc. Once you're happy with the formatting, just click OK to add the style to the object styles panel. See here you have the InDesign circle one that we've just created and you can then apply the object style to other objects such as or frames and shapes in your documents. Uh, click to select the shape you want to edit and then click once on the name of the object style in the object style panel. 
In this example, you can see how the style supplies all the formatting characteristics of the original shapes, such as the fill color, stroke color, the stroke weight, and stroke type to this shape created using the rectangle tool, but the style doesn't alter the original shape of the shape or frame. All right, get in the habit of using styles and notice how your InDesign documents become more polished and the time spent formatting the designs cut dramatically. Check out my other videos to build your knowledge and develop your InDesign skills. Start now by subscribing and clicking that notification bell if you haven't done that already so you don't miss any of my content-packed videos. See ya!